Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of All Things MSP, a vendor update. Uh, this is going to be a fun one today because this is with my favorite man in the yellow jacket, Mr. Alan Edwards from Gozenta Eureka. Hey Alan. Hey Eric, good to see you again. I was really excited you said favorite man, then he's like favorite man with the yellow jacket. I was like, okay, so like one of two. <laughs> Oh, it does kind of single you out in a crowd. <laughs> uh, that was the point. That was the point. Thanks for having me, Eric. Yeah, no worries. So for people who don't know you, because obviously you and I have been friends for a while, what you know is your background and, and what are we going to be talking about today? Well, I was born uh, wet, naked, unable to walk or talk. I overcame all that adversity, uh, started in 1994 professionally, my own business in 2002, sold it in 2011, led some others. Founded Eureka Process back around 2017, and uh, it has been a, a lot of fun helping IT service providers uh, build a process-based culture and improve their business and their and their their work-life balance. Uh, and then with the you know the name Gozenta Eureka uh, officially our company name is actually Gozenta uh, now, and uh, we were acquired a year and a half ago. Uh, Eureka is now the brand of our consulting division. And uh, just to, to speak about that acquisition a bit, I was so excited. Uh, I was actively trying to figure out how to get into SaaS and uh, it was not having luck. Uh, and meanwhile, Gozenta was actively trying to get into consulting because I feel like a lot of SaaS provide providers in our industry are spending most of their time educating uh, their clients on how to be better businesses so that they can be successful and continue using their products and buying more of their product. Uh, so it, it worked out as a, as a great match. We actually started out doing their onboarding program for them. Uh, white label onboarding, we were Gozenta. Uh, it worked out well. We flexed our process muscles and uh, decided it'd be best to work more closely together. And it's we've been creating great things since then. Well, and I don't think you could have partnered up with two better people, right? Yeah. I mean, Heather and Brian are um, two of my very favorite people in this industry as well. And um, they really just the way they run their business and their lives is, you know, impressive to me. So, um, and you can tell them that when you, you know, see them next time or when they watch this, you know. <laughs> but you guys launched something earlier this year, which is what we really want to focus on today. And that is the Eureka Growth Program. Indeed. And this is, you know, I had a chance to talk to Heather about it earlier in the year. If you're just watching this, you can go back and watch that as well. And it really sounds like a, a different spin on the traditional consulting engagement for an MSP. So could you kind of just break it down real quick what the main idea of the process is? Sure. I mean, and just to talk about the different spin. Uh, Heather pitched it to me and it took her probably six months to convince me we could do this. Uh, I was lost. Like, wh why are we doing it this way? Like, like let's go on. What's, we already have process consulting. We already have the ability to access the tools app. And of course, we're going to help them with these other things if our clients are having a trouble and, and bringing experts to do this. And she's like, yeah, why aren't we actually selling that? Like, oh, uh, so it, it's, we, we, it's the same stuff we've been doing for five years, except for we've rearranged the program and we've pulled in more resources, especially with our, our acquisition with, uh, from Gozenta being acquired by Gozenta. Um, and so now we have an, an entire C-suite available to us to help our clients. Uh, we, we've leveraged a lot of the tools and processes we've already learned and started to integrate them more tightly to bring a complete package. I mean, I know when I was an IT business owner, uh, I was always like, man, if I could just find a partner to help me with this stuff, because I'm always alone, uh, what do I do? And I think that's what the growth program brings is you, you get to meet with your, your primary consultant every week. He's kind of like the quarterback. Uh, he's helping you uh, figure out what you want to achieve. He's calling the plays. And a lot of times the plays are, oh, let me bring in our finance expert uh, to help you with this. Oh, let me bring in our HR expert or depending on your size, maybe we're doing all those things in the same week. You know, we're going to have your HR team meet with, with, with this person. Uh, you know, your service delivery needs some process improvements, you know, meet with me. Uh, and so that's what it is. It's, it's a more holistic approach. So it sounds to me almost like hiring a whole fractional C-suite. Uh, absolutely. It, it's, it's, a, it's a faucet on demand. You can get a, a lot of one type and a little of the other or a little of all. 
Uh, we just apply it where it needs to be applied at the time. So instead of going out and hiring, you know, a fractional CTO, a fractional CMO, a fractional CFO, you are combining it into one package and giving them what they need of that skill set at any given point in time, depending on what their priority is. Uh, absolutely, and that's really the that's really the, the the job, the hard part of the of our primary consultant is to figure out, okay, what is needed, what is our highest priority to fix. Uh, and then matching that resource to do that. And, and just to add to that, uh, these resources aren't coming in and telling you what you should do, right? They're working with you to figure out what needs to be done, and then they're gonna help you with some of the execution as well. Uh, you know, if you're having trouble making an update in your PSA to match this new process, you know, we can hop in that PSA and help you do that because we have those people. Uh, if you're having difficulty getting your chart of accounts looking the way you want to match SLI or, or other criteria, you know, our, our accountant uh, experts can come in and help make that happen as well. So it's not just somebody who is giving you some worksheets or some advice or emailing you back an answer. They're actually getting their hands dirty and fixing the chart of accounts. Yeah, absolutely. Or, you know, yeah. And, and our goal is to teach you to fish. Uh, but sometimes you have to be fed while you're learning to fish. Right, uh, and, and that that's that bridge that that we want to, or that gap that we want to bridge. And it also sounds to me like this is actually appropriate across a larger subset of MSPs than could normally engage consultants of this type. It sounds like this can actually scale down to smaller MSPs because of the way you've set it up. Um, I might disagree with that statement. Okay. Um, uh, mainly because smaller MSPs don't get as much of a return on their investment. Uh, we, we find that a, a lot of times what we're doing is we're setting up processes and systems to be followed. And the more people that follow those systems, uh, the more, more ROI they would get. Uh, so I'll modify, I'll modify okay. what I mean by smaller MSP. Cause I don't mean the smallest right. MSP. Okay, I'm probably talking about somebody who is between five and 10 employees or five and 15 employees rather than somebody who has 30 to 50 or more. Uh, yeah, that, that can absolutely happen. Uh, I mean, you, you do have a lot of resources at your disposal. Uh, so it, it is not an inexpensive service and not everybody can right. qualify. Uh, if I was in, talking to somebody interviewing them for the program who was in five to 15, uh, we would spend a lot of time focusing on coachability uh, to, in the interview process uh, and their growth plans. Because if they're not going to grow, they're not going to get an ROI and it doesn't make sense to do this. Right. Uh, so at that size, it would have to be hyper growth for sure. And Eric, I love it when I can trip you up. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, and I don't mean that, you know, it's inexpensive and that's why, you know, they can do it because it's affordable. What I'm saying is the right person who has the right growth in mind, you know, has that, you know, minimum of triple digit growth, yeah. you know, in mind. They're, they want to double at least every year, if not more. Um, it is, it does become ROI positive for somebody who wants to grow like that, uh, but absolutely. is starting from a smaller point. Yeah. Oh, and, and, I, and I've seen it happen. One, one of our earlier clients uh, started at six people and 400k in revenue, which is not a, not a great ratio. Uh, fast forward five years, and they're at 12 million dollars and 60 employees. Right. Uh, and not not that I made that happen, but but I was involved. <laughs> so you know, it really it it depends mostly on what the goals of the MSP are. They're not just going to be able to hire you and hand things off. Yeah. They're going to hire you and you're going to become part of the team that causes that growth. Uh, correct. And, and one of the things we will actually teach during this program is because this always comes up is, you know, the, the definition of delegation versus delegation by abdication. You can't escape, go here, you do it. It's not going to work. It's not our business. Right. We're here to grow your business. It's still you. Uh, in fact, you don't even have to do everything we, we tell you to, and I hope you don't. Uh, we, we want you free thinking and, and to be your own living, growing organism. We, we love the tree analogy. Uh, 
to to make that thing grow because you know worst case the scenario you decide not to keep us anymore and it's still you right you you have to live with these decisions you've made and anyway, we just want to teach you the the best practices the ones that match your demographic uh, your desires uh i'm actually with shock because i always liked growing businesses for passive income that's my goal and as i talk to more and more msp owners some of them are quite willing to work even more hours for more revenue and that's their goal like let me just cash in now do the work, put money in my bank account. And that's okay that there's a viable retirement plan uh, doing that. And there are others right. who want passive income, some who want to grow an asset and sell it, uh, some who want the option for all of those things. Uh, and there, there's ways to accomplish them as long as we're clear on what where we wanna get to. Right, and so because of what you guys are doing with the kind of the fractional but not abdicating responsibilities, right? You are more or less, evolving that organization rather than running it, which is what a lot of times fractionals are brought in to do. Right. Yeah. Our goal is not to run your business. Our goal is to support and grow your business. So let's say you lean on us heavy for a fractional uh, finance person, uh, fractional CFO to help you plan and report and understand the numbers. Uh, our hope would be uh, that that need uh, through process would either decrease enough that you could take it in house or increase enough uh, that you are now ready and prepared to hire a full time person because you have the processes, you have the systems in place, uh, and we can even help you hire that person as a part of our, our help. Right. And I think that's an important distinction because a lot of times when a consultant comes in, when a fractional C level employee comes in, they're coming in as a consultant. And so billable hours. Yeah, uh, are are the thing. So the more work they can do for you, the more money they're going to make from you. And it sounds like you guys have kind of tipped that on its head. And you're actually trying to evolve the business, install the processes so they can go one of the other two directions, either taking it on themselves or then hiring the full time person to replace the fractional. Yeah, we we honestly we share a very similar model to the to the MSP model. Uh, we we do try to set a flat rate for how much we charge, mm -hmm. uh, and then we want to apply every resource we can to make you successful. And the way we see it is if we can get you to to make the the problem smaller, or the workload smaller, or get you to be able to hire that out because it makes sense now. Uh, that's taking that workload off of our plate, uh, and. Honestly, selfishly, one of the main reasons we, we started the growth program is we had so many clients that would come to us uh, and they would achieve a, a, some measure of success that they had in 12, 18, 30 months and go, oh, thank you so much. You guys have been life changing. And we're like, but wait, you're at the next level of growth now. Uh, we can help you in this area and these other areas. And now and even once you fix every area, next thing you know, you're, you're three times the size and those areas need to evolve again. Uh, right. And we, we were, we're setting ourselves up to be able to make those transitions by having all of this different talent in house. Uh, so people don't have to just have small wins and call it good. We want you to win for life. Right. And that's another aspect of the way you guys are doing things again, because you are not charging by time and you're doing these things differently. You are in a position where you can grow with them over a long period of time, which also kind of matches the MSP model, right? Because lifetime value of the customer, it also matches the SaaS uh, type model that you mentioned before and, and that recurring revenue for a long period of time. Uh, yeah. And I, I think it works really well for our clients too, because they don't have to be nervous about, Ooh, I kind of want to help in this, but how much is that going to cost me? Right. Uh, it, just, just like in the old days of, uh, of MSP work, people were like, do I include on site or not? Uh, and I always found out that if you don't include on site, your technicians spend eight times longer trying to avoid going on site. Uh, it would have been cheaper just to go on site and fix it. Uh, right. And I've always had that mentality even before the growth program. Like if you need something, let's just go fix it. I don't care about the money, uh, which, you know, some people correct me on. I should. Uh, <laughs> we, we just want to fix the problems and help you grow and make you happy with your business and happy with us. Well, you know, when people, because I, I have that conversation frequently as well, a lot of times what I'll say is that I may have lost money on, on this one, right? But then I learned and I adjusted my pricing appropriately 
so that now I can do that when I need to, and it doesn't hurt me financially. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, at, at scale, it always works out. And and frankly, the big, the bigger currency for Heather, Brian, and I at Gozenta uh, really is helping people. Uh, that yep. That's what makes us feel good. We need money to pay the bills and to grow uh, and to help more people. Uh, but that's really the currency we're looking for. Uh, I mean, I've got other ventures as well uh, that I'm doing pro bono help here in town, uh, helping businesses grow because it's just what we like to do. Yeah. And, you know, I, I love following you on social media and all the different things that you're doing. Um, before we head out, though, how can somebody be considered for the growth program? Um we, we do have a link we'll, we'll throw out, out here uh, to, to start the interview process for the growth program. It's not necessarily a complicated process. You know, we are going to ask for some very basic financials, you know, revenue, um, employee count. Uh, but it's really more about the, the, the psychographic data we're going to be asking you for, like determining, like, are you, are you really ready to coach? Um, are you want to take this journey with us? Cause we, I don't want to come in to solve a single little problem. We can do that. That's easy enough. Uh, we're looking for clients to uh, grow with us throughout. In fact, when we accept a new client, part of our onboarding package is we actually send you a little sapling uh, of a tree, that. Uh, something that that fits your region and your personality. We, we talk about those things first uh, and, and then you plant it and we want our relationship to be the same way. Uh, it's going to take some nurturing, some watering, some light. It's going to take some time uh, and, and some maturation to get through. Uh, and so that's what we're looking for when we're talking to prospects for the growth program. Awesome. Well, Alan, is there anything else that you want to leave the audience with today before uh, we sign off? Um, just, you know, process first and everything. If you, if you don't choose us for the growth program, I mean, please, you know, find peer groups, talk to your peers, go into online communities, like all things MSP. Uh, that's a great first step into being a, a constant learner. You'll, you'll go far with that. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Alan. Best of luck to you and the growth program in the future. Thanks, Eric.